You are listening to the Horse Radio Network, part of the Equine Network family. Greetings, everyone. Coach Jen here, and thanks for tuning in to Horse Tip Daily, episode 1470. Today's tip features Michelle Barr from Wright Lead Equestrian Center in Louisiana, and she has a great unmounted lesson plan that you can apply to any age group and any skill level. Michelle Barr is here with us to give us another great tip for making our students smarter when the weather is a wreck. As it has been. Yes. As it has been. So we've been stuck inside uh, for rain and oddly enough for sleet and snow and ice here, which is unheard of as part of the world. I know most of the country has not been able to ride as much as they wanted this winter. Uh, a lot of instructors do unmounted lessons. We certainly do here when we can't ride. And just sitting around in a classroom environment is pretty boring, especially after you've done it a couple times in a row. So one of the things that we've done to make things a little more fun, uh, provided it's not raining, because uh, we need we need a dry course for this is we'll play in the park on the pony and what you do there is your instructor will write down different parts of the horse it could be points it could be uh, musculature it could be bones any part of the horse and you write it on a sticky note and you give it to the student and they have to stick it on the correct location of that horse, which is why you need a dry one. Otherwise, they don't stick. <laughs> um, and I would suggest the extra strong sticky notes that they make. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Exactly. I guess you could also do this if you could, you know, write it on duct tape, but it would maybe that's not good because that's going to stick too much. Maybe painter's tape because I know I use that when I body flip. It's yes. Blue, blue painter's tape. Excellent idea. Yep. Yep. I love that stuff. So... Well, the, one of the other good things about this, aside from the fact that it's just fun, uh, you could do it in teams. You know, you could have more than one person. Maybe you have a group lesson or maybe you just want to do only one stable management lesson that day because you're tired of hearing the topic, you know, the subject matter yourself. Divide up into teams and you don't all have to, to be the same level. You could have beginners and they get easy parts like hoof and mane. And then your more advanced pony club girls are going to have to know specific muscles, like abdominal obliques, uh, physical ligaments. You know, and you can you can tailor it pretty individually and keep things on a pretty level playing field for all the people involved. Cool. And you have to have an agreeable horse. <laughs> Don't take out. <laughs> The two-year-old that's never been handled in a group before, you know, hasn't ever had his feet picked up because that's going to be a train wreck. Yeah. This is not a good exercise for a hackney pony. Probably not. You know, young Arabs and horses off the track. Yeah. You know, and if you're the instructor, you probably want to play with this yourself, put sticky notes all over the horse you're thinking of using before you actually do it in a lesson just to make sure he's not going to bonker when you put the four lock sticker on his head. <laughs> and and, the sky yeah, there you go. Maybe there are certain, certain stickers you shouldn't make. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Depending on your, on your subjects. Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah. That's a great idea. I like that. And, and I it's got fun. Yeah. And it's a lot of fun. And like you said, you can, you can really, scale it to the number of people you have and mm -hmm. you can scale it to the uh, knowledge level that you're going for. And it's a great way to learn for, for students who are visual learners. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm just thinking, you know, ways to expand on this. You know, say maybe your horses are all wet because it's raining. Um, you could certainly adapt this to grooming tools or, you know, uh, all cleaning equipment, you know, hay nets, sure. anything, really. Yeah. You wouldn't have to just use it 
for points in the horse. Yeah. And I thought of one here too. Back in the day when kids used to have to play games in the car when you took long road trips. Yeah. They used to play something called I Spy. Mm -hmm. And it's basically you have the answer in your head and you give your the your team your players hints as to what they are. So right. you could do that. Uh, you had a great idea there in the tack room for your fun. equipment. So you're hanging out in the tack room or the feed room or the room, because a lot of farms and barns, right. they have one room Bio for way. everything. Yeah. I spy, and let's say I spy a grooming tool. Okay, everybody has to look for a grooming tool. Well, they're not too sure which one it is yet. I spy a right. grooming tool with bristles. Okay, they're really cool. not sure what it is. And the first person to grab the right tool and hold it up is the winner. Oh, I like that. Yeah. And the opposite of that game is 20 questions where you have the answer in your head and the competitors go around in a circle and ask a question. The first question is usually animal, was it animal, mineral, or vegetable? Vegetable. <laughs> well, in this case, if you're hanging around in the know. room, you could ask, if, is it a piece of tack? Yes or no. And the, I like that. The, the person who has that answer in their little head, the answer is always yes or no. So they have to ask those specific kinds of questions. So again, that's a, a great way to learn about things, but not just what they are, but what they're used for, for example. Mm -hmm. Because one That's of the clues, idea. you know, might be you use it to get mud off your horse. Um, so the person asking the questions as well as giving the answers both have to learn a lot about what that item is. So that's two things you can do. I like that. On rainy days. Hopefully we're not going to have any more rainy days. The weather's going to be good. The snow's going to melt. Yes. It's Everybody's going to, going to get to ride. It's going to be beautiful. Everyone's going to go riding. And when they go riding, they're going to discover that they need lots of help because help because they forgot it all over the winter. And I know Michelle, <laughs> yeah. as a BHS certified instructor and ISSO certified instructor and judge, you do clinics and seminars all over the country. So Thank where you. can folks listen, contact you if they want to have you come out and do a clinic or a seminar? So the best place to look is on the webpage, www.writeme.com. Uh, right Lead also has a Facebook page, so you can get to me through there, or you can just email me directly at Michelle, my C H E L L E, at rightlead.com. Da -da -da -da. Thank you once again for the helpful hints. I'm going to go find Thank myself you. some extra sturdy stick it notes and start putting them on the dog. <laughs> I want pictures. Well, there you have it. Horse Radio Network has thousands of engaging podcasts for horse people, and you can have them sent right to your phone. Just subscribe via your favorite podcast player. This is Coach Jen, and I will be back again soon with another tip. Until then, go ride your horse. The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements made by guests on the Horse Tip Daily. Please use your own judgment when listening to the tips on this show. <laughs>